Since 1851, countries have presented the best version of themselves in terms of ideas and innovation at the World Expos. The recently concluded Dubai Expo was particularly significant. It was the first World Expo in the Middle East, South Asia and Africa region. An unprecedented 192 countries participated within the thematic areas of sustainability, mobility and opportunity. And 24 million visitors attended over a period of six months, making it the world's largest and most anticipated post-COVID event. As a country on the rise, it was a chance for Pakistan to showcase its potential, but to stand out in such illustrious company was nothing short of a challenge. The main objectives of our participation in Expo 2020 were to promote tourism, commerce and investment in Pakistan and leave a lasting impression on the global audience of Pakistan, the hidden treasure and a land of opportunity. And here's how, against all odds, the Pakistan Pavilion emerged as a star. It started with a unique partnership between the Trade Development Authority of Pakistan and a conglomerate of over 60 companies under the aegis of the Patrons Trust, which together with the Government of Pakistan and the provincial authorities helped fund the project. The structure was inspired by the magnificent mountains in the north. Rashid Rana's challenge was to transform the plain exterior into art. This artistic intervention involved using 24,000 entirely unique aluminium composite panels, each fractionally different in size and color, representing the unique diversity of the country. That really led to this concept that I've used for this work, which is the unity through diversity. More we celebrate and acknowledge and cherish this diversity, more united we are. This is what happened. It actually stood out amongst all the other pavilions. It was glittering, it was almost like a diamond in the middle of a desert. Noor Jahabil Grami in the meantime set about curating a museum experience that brought craftsmen, musicians and filmmakers together to weave a visually stunning tapestry into a memorable journey for all those visiting. In doing so, the pavilion revived crafts such as glass blowing and gave impetus to artisans specializing in woodwork, kashikari and metalwork. Why do we need to look at the West for our inspiration? We don't. It's all here with us on this very land and the world is acknowledging it. It's time that we acknowledged it. The pavilion takes the visitors on a magical journey through the rich history, culture and stunning topography of Pakistan. Exemplary craftsmanship welcomed you as you entered from the stunning doorway with 1600 copper triangles, the 7 foot by 7 foot ceramic kashikari on the suspended ceiling, along with the metallic mehargarh motif sculpture, all painstakingly recreated. Viewers were amazed to see that Pakistan is home to the dawn of civilization, with one of the earliest farming communities, Mehargarh, dating back 7,000 years to the 2,500-year-old urban sophistication of Mohenjo-daro, the 600-year-old Buddhist legacy of Taxila, and the magnificence of the Mughal and Sikh empires. The architecture to the Pakistan Pavilion is amazing. It changes um, from daylight to sunset to night. And inside, what you 
have to experience is scale. So not only can you see a wide variety, but there's also sculptures inside, art, just so much of the culture, so I really enjoyed it. Happy to see about the Sikh history that is 500 years back, and I'm really surprised they are showing it over here in Pakistan, what are our roots and what is the things over there. So it's really very overwhelming for me. The Ainakari or mirror mosaics of the Shish Mahal, along with the stucco tracery, were painstakingly recreated for the pavilion by Ustad Rafaqat, one of the last remaining Mughal specialists in the country. It was really nice. I mean, the art, the videos, the installations, the paintings. I spent a long time here and I was not expecting that. It's the first time I come to this pavilion. It's one of my favorite, and I will come back next week for another friend. I like the atmosphere, the music. I like everything. The handicraft, the movies. Yes, I love it. As we entered the haven of natural wonders, we were treated to spectacular sights from the awe-inspiring Karakuram Hindu Kush and Himalayan ranges, to lush green mangroves and the quiet wisdom of the coastline. The Mohana boat was lovingly recreated as a testament to the people who lived their lives on the water. This oneness with nature was also apparent in the Kalash clothing of natural wool, Kauri shells and beads. This is my first time visiting the Pakistan Pavilion and I found it very exciting. One of the things that I really liked the most was the Mohana boat. It had really excellent craftsmanship. You know, you see or hear a lot of different things about Pakistan that are not necessarily uh, talking about the culture and positive things. So as an American citizen, definitely it would make me go back and tell people that you know, Pakistan has so many things to offer. I mean, what really surprises me about Pakistan is like, you know, it's it's nature. I've seen, a, like, you know, a clippets of like how vast nature is in Pakistan. So definitely, you know, uh, tempt me, you know, to visit Pakistan one day. Pakistan is home to a multitude of languages, religions and ethnic groups and sites that are sacred for Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists, Christians and Sikhs alike. This plurality is nowhere more evident than the rich, all-encompassing Sufi culture, with 40 major Sufi shrines, the oldest of which dates back to the 7th century. We are from Germany and we are very impressed by the Pakistani pavilion. We were overwhelmed inside by all the professional display of the culture, the history, the nature and the people of Pakistan. From India in Bangalore, south of India. This was a great experience for me, believe me. I mean, I've never seen Pakistan and it, it was always a dream that I would go there one day. I really don't know if I will be able to, but um, coming here was amazing. The abundance of natural bounties extends to the rock salt. Pakistan is home to the second largest salt mine in the world one that holds 84 beneficial minerals within it. The richness of resource extends to our people as well as our industries, such as textiles, agriculture and food, which power our economy. I just visited through the pavilion of Pakistan. It was a great experience to see all the colorful events you have on the social uh, uh, side. Even your economy uh, and development of the infrastructure devastated me. It was very amazing. From the sublime, we move into sustainability. An interactive experiential zone visualizes Pakistan's ambitious billion tree tsunami project. Connecting nature to technology with sounds and oxygen mists energizing visitors. My favorite space was the 10 Billion Trees project. It was truly immersive and interactive. I was very impressed by uh, what I saw inside, particularly the nature and the scenery blew me away. The rich culture and history uh, was very impressive and it made me uh, more excited to visit Pakistan in the future. Lovingly crafted and displayed, the bazaar reflected not only the cultural diversity of the country, but also the superb craftsmanship that Pakistan is known for. 
prompting visitors to take a part of Pakistan home with them. The pavilion's restaurant brought the richness of our tables to the world. Alhamdulillah, this is the Pakistan pavilion. This is the whole expo center. The way that the pavilion captures that visually has a very strong impact on you and it's, it's, it's absolutely breathtaking, very captivating and a really Im immersive experience. With well over 1.4 million visitors over a period and countless positive reviews, the Pakistan Pavilion is widely considered one of the top 10 pavilions at Expo 2020, winning the Burj CEO Award for the Best Exterior Design and the Silver Award for the Best Interior. The Pavilion also played host to 300 events over a period of six months. including many successful conferences by the provincial governments to encourage investment in the country. Must, must, must. Only a nation with a strong past can confidently claim its place in the future. I believe that we have achieved the objectives that were given to us by the government of Pakistan and I would sincerely like to thank the leadership and Ministry of Commerce our trustees, the provincial governments, the governments of Gilgit Baltistan and Azad Jammu and Kashmir, our sponsors and the entire team for their support and hard work in making Pakistan's participation in Expo 2020 a success. Doing so, the pavilion won the hearts and minds of visitors from around the world and made Pakistanis proud of their beautiful country. It's gorgeous from outside, all colourful. This pavilion is really, really beautiful. Definitely something amazing. I'm really inspired. Capturing of the sense of spirituality. Colourful culture. These people are very proud of their country. Best one I've been to. Pakistan Pavilion is wonderful. Time to go to Pakistan because it's a beautiful country. If I can jump in and just get now, just to tell Pakistan, I would do that right away. Uh, Pakistan is very uh, multicultural and much more broader than I had thought. You know, I thought I knew a lot about Pakistan, but, you know, it opened my eyes. I didn't know much about Pakistan, so it's been lovely to come to this pavilion and see how beautiful the country is. What is pavilion representing? I loved it. And in the end, of course, Pakistan is in the bud. <laughs>